Alright boys, today it's not going to be a super long video, but I do want to kind of give out a little bit of tips. So as you guys know, the brand new first thing showdown, and I've already made a showdown thing for this already. But I kind of thought I'd make one just for the first inning showdown. Now, a lot of people are going to be doing this. A lot of people haven't probably played showdown yet. So we're just going to go over a quick little small tutorial on how to finish it. So just like my last tutorial on showdown, which is kind of a part two of what we're doing, you always want to draft bats. So you bet always get the best bat. Now, out of here, I see King Lofton, Mike Piazza, Xander Bogarts. And you might be like, Mike Piazza has the best hitting stats. And honestly, you might be right a little bit. But I'm going to go with Kenny Lofton because... I know he's a little bit glitchy the next guy I'm not going to pick a pitcher do not pick a pitcher and I'm actually going to pick someone that destroys right-handed pitching and it's gonna be Jason Giambi the next guy that we're gonna see we're gonna see Joe Morgan here Joe Morgan might be the guy Brett Batty also has 87 pop so we're gonna kind of look around I think that Brett Batty is gonna be our guy because there's not really third basements that absolutely real baseballs as far as this round goes you always want to pick whatever you're picking pitchers this is against the computer, so pick the best per nine. So whoever has the best per nine is going to be who you pick. And right now, it's looking like it's going to be Jonathan Stever. So he has the best per nines. I'm going to pick him because he's going to perform better because he has better stats. Now we're facing the fifth round. We're going to be, again, pitching some of these guys with the really good stats. Out of all of them, I don't really see anyone that kind of just sticks out. But the one guy that I kind of like is Avisal Garcia because he has that big contact and looks really good versus lefties. Right here, it's not really an easy pick either. And I think I'm going to go Kiki. I hope that you guys are getting better rounds than I am. We're going to kind of look at the catcher position. I Honestly, I don't like any of these, but we're going to go Kiki. We're going to go Kiki. He has a decent swing. Here, we're probably going to go Leclerc. Leclerc always has really nuts per nines, and he's going to be my closer. Next year, we're probably going to pick up Germinator just because I really like his swing, and all these guys are kind of bums. But these guys are looking really good. Now, whenever we get to the perks, this is the big thing that you guys are going to want to do, is you're going to want to actually pick the things with two strikes. Now, what I usually do with Showdown is I always take two strikes. And the reason why I do that is because every time you take two strikes, the pitcher's energy goes lower and lower and lower. Now, you don't have to do this, but one thing that I, whatever you do, get perks to complement your strategy. So right here, I'm going to pick vision bonus while behind the count. The reason I'm going to do that is because each time I do that, it's actually going to make it a little bit better for me. Now, I'm not going to actually pick it here, and I think I'm going to pick rattled because I really like rattled for some reason. I feel like it bails me out a lot of times, but um, definitely not the greatest perks in the world. As you can see it's looking like it only makes us face two bosses here so you can face both bosses or you can probably get out after right around here and you can just go skip to the final showdown but i'm going to skip a little bit to where we go there now we just finished the first moment now some of these moments are going to be really easy and some of these moments aren't going to be really easy again every single time just make sure you guys are taking the best bat possible whenever you win i see kyle tucker's here so we're probably going to take him i know he's up on lefties but he's got one of those really good swings. Again, if you mess up challenges, it's fine. We're going to actually skip to the end here whenever I have done all of these. But if you end up, some of them are going to be easier. Some of them are going to be giving up lots and lots of hits. And then some of them is just going to be you closing it down with a pitcher or you just having to get one little run with the guy on third. So some of them are easier than others. If you mess one up, it's not a big deal. Just keep on going. All right, boys, this will be the last one before the first showdown boss, and I'm going to kind of explain one of the things that you guys need to do before every single showdown boss. Again, you're going to get another silver player out of these guys. I'm picking Jay Bruce. That's not even a question. He rakes righties. If you guys don't know that already, definitely pick up Jay Bruce if you ever see Jay Bruce. Now, this is what we're going to do is out of these guys, honestly, I don't like any of them, but we'll go with the rally time because it's something. But this is what you're going to do. You're going to go to manage squad. Now, whenever you are playing a showdown, Every single time, whenever you're playing a showdown, what you do is you always put in your best hitters. Now, it doesn't matter. Defense means nothing during this. You're not going to be playing defense. You can have out of position guys. Now, I just ended up getting Jay Bruce. Jay Bruce is now my shortstop, and he's. I'm going to obviously take him out of shortstop after the showdown. But during the showdown, make sure you do this, and whenever you're playing the showdown, it'll make a load of a difference. I have a saw Garcia. And... And that should do it. Yep, that's gonna do the showdown. Avisol Garcia is going to be the stud of number one. And honestly, guys, these aren't that hard. You start with bases loaded, and you should be able to get the job done if you're struggling a lot to get hits. I understand there's a lot of people who are new to the game, 
but it isn't the worst showdown in the world. It's going to make it a lot easier for you. You get a nice little show pack, you get 500 stubs, and now you're just going to keep on playing these moments for these free stubs, and you're going to go all the way to the end to make it even easier on yourself. Now, out of here, you actually get a diamond round, and obviously here, I'm going to go with my boy, Jordan Alvarez. One of my favorite swings in the game. Dude is a stud. Already having parallel one. Out of these, I'm definitely going to pick down but not out with the diamond version because, again, my two strikes approach is what always wins me showdowns, and it makes it just a lot easier, and this definitely supplies what I do. Now, again, one of the things you want to do that I didn't say earlier is you don't want to have two of the same perks. So I have down but not out, and I'm going to upgrade it, but I want to replace it for down but not out. If you have double of the same perk, it doesn't stack. All right, he's going to walk another. One thing that I just highly stress is be patient during showdown. Don't pitch at bad pitches. Again, I got the bunt single with Kenny Lofton, and then he literally walked two. Now we have bases loaded with Yelly, and it's probably going to go really well considering this guy's not throwing many strikes. Oh, we'll take an error. And that should do it. That should do it. Kenny Lofton should be the last guy who finishes the showdown, and we got our XP, we got everything that we needed, it's double XP weekend, we got the showdown done, and hopefully we'll be even closer to my boy Kenny Lofton, I want to get him, just to try him out, we might do a nice little debut with him, but boys, that wasn't too hard, and what I want to make sure is that you guys knew how to do it, I know it's simple, I know I already did a showdown guide, but I really just wanted you guys to see how I did it, so some of you guys who have never really done showdown, or don't really know what to do with showdown, I hope that this really helped you out. Now, boys, if you guys ended up liking this video, make sure you guys hit that like and sub button. As we're on the road to 3,000 subscribers, thank you guys so much, and might be out.